Hi there, health enthusiasts. Have you ever heard about insulin resistance? It might sound complex, but it's actually a common issue that affects millions of people worldwide. Now you might be wondering, what's insulin resistance? Simply put, it's a condition where the body's cells become less responsive to the hormone insulin. This hormone, produced by our pancreas, is crucial for helping our cells absorb glucose from the bloodstream. But when insulin resistance sets in, this process gets disrupted. And why does it matter? Well, insulin resistance is a significant player in the development of type 2 diabetes, a condition that's growing increasingly common around the globe. Understanding insulin resistance can be the first step towards prevention and control of type 2 diabetes. So what exactly is insulin resistance? Stay tuned to find out. Before we dive into insulin resistance, we first need to understand insulin and its role in our bodies. So, what is insulin, you may ask? Well, insulin is a hormone, a chemical messenger produced in the pancreas, an organ located behind your stomach. The main function of insulin is to allow your body's cells to take in glucose, or sugar, from your bloodstream. This glucose is then used as a source of energy, keeping you active and your brain functioning optimally. To illustrate this, imagine insulin as a key. When you consume food, particularly carbohydrates, your body breaks it down into glucose. This glucose then enters your bloodstream, increasing your blood sugar levels. In response, your pancreas produces insulin, the key, to open up your body's cells, the locks, allowing the glucose to enter and be used for energy. However, the relationship between insulin and glucose is a delicate balance. Too much or too little of either can disrupt your body's equilibrium, causing health complications. Now, let's consider a scenario where the locks on your cells start to become rusty. Despite having the correct key, or insulin, the glucose struggles to enter the cells. This is the beginning of insulin resistance, a condition where your cells become less responsive to the effects of insulin. In response to this resistance, your pancreas starts working overtime, producing more insulin to try and force the rusty locks open. This can lead to an excess of insulin in your bloodstream, setting the stage for various health concerns including type 2 diabetes. So, insulin is pretty important. But what happens when the locks become rusty? That's insulin resistance. Understanding this key hormone and its vital role in our body is the first step in grasping the complexities of insulin resistance. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this topic. In the case of insulin resistance, the cells don't respond well to insulin. But what does that mean? Well, let's delve a little deeper. Picture this. You're trying to unlock a door with a key, but the locks rusted over time. The key just isn't turning as smoothly as it once did. That's a bit like insulin resistance. Insulin, the key, is trying to unlock the cells to let glucose in. But the locks, the cells, have become rusty. They're not responding to the key as effectively as they used to. This decreased responsiveness to insulin leaves glucose stranded in the bloodstream. The body reacts by producing more insulin, trying to get those rusty locks to turn. Over time, this leads to higher levels of insulin circulating in the blood. The pancreas is like a key maker, constantly working to keep up with the demand for more keys or insulin. But there's a limit to how hard it can work. Over time, if the demand continues to increase, the pancreas may struggle to keep up. And when the pancreas can't produce enough insulin to compensate for the resistance, blood sugar levels rise leading to pre-diabetes and, eventually, type 2 diabetes. What's tricky about insulin resistance is that it often doesn't present any noticeable symptoms in the early stages. It's a bit like a stealthy cat prowling in the shadows, unnoticed until it pounces. Many people don't know they have insulin resistance until they develop type 2 diabetes or other health conditions related to high blood sugar. So. Insulin resistance is a bit like a rusty lock and an overworked key maker. It's a condition where your cells resist the effects of insulin, leading to an overproduction of insulin and potentially to type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance can be a silent condition. So how can you tell if you're insulin resistant? We'll explore that and more in the next chapter. Stay tuned. There are several risk factors that can make you more likely to develop insulin resistance. Let's delve into them. First off, obesity particularly excess fat around the abdomen, can increase insulin resistance. This is because fat cells, especially those around the belly, are more resistant to insulin's effects. 
Next, a sedentary lifestyle is a major culprit. Physical inactivity means your body's cells aren't using up glucose for energy, leaving too much of it in your bloodstream. This can lead to the cells becoming less responsive to insulin. Then we have poor diet, specifically high intake of refined carbs and sugars. These foods cause a rapid increase in blood sugar, prompting your pancreas to produce more insulin. Over time, the cells become desensitized to the constant high insulin levels, leading to insulin resistance. Genetics also plays a role. If you have a family history of diabetes or insulin resistance, you may be genetically predisposed to developing this condition. It's like inheriting a rusty lock from your ancestors that's more likely to get stuck. As we age, our risk of insulin resistance also increases. This is due to age-related changes in muscle mass and fat distribution, as well as other factors that can affect insulin sensitivity. Finally, certain health conditions can act as risk factors. For instance, polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is often associated with insulin resistance. Sleep apnea, a condition where breathing repeatedly stops and starts during sleep, has also been linked to increased insulin resistance. If you identify with several of these risk factors, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional. They can help you assess your risk and guide you on the necessary steps to manage it. But don't worry, there are ways to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce your risk. In the next chapter, we'll explore some strategies that can help you turn the tide against insulin resistance. So, stick around. Boosting insulin sensitivity doesn't have to be difficult. Here are some helpful tips. Firstly, regular physical activity plays a key role in enhancing insulin sensitivity. The more frequently you exercise, the better your body can utilize insulin and process glucose. Strive for a minimum of 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise on the majority of days. This can be a brisk walk, cycling in your locale, or even a home-based workout routine. Moving on to diet, adhering to a healthy eating plan is another fundamental aspect of improving insulin sensitivity. Choose a carnivore diet abundant in meats and animal products. This involves a large intake of animal proteins like beef, pork, fish, and eggs. Make sure to limit consumption of processed foods and high sugar snacks, as these can cause spikes in your blood sugar levels and exacerbate insulin resistance. Thirdly, weight can also enhance insulin sensitivity, particularly if you hold surplus weight around your abdomen. Even a minor weight reduction can have a noticeable effect. Bear in mind it's not about abrupt alterations, but sustainable ones. Incorporate incremental measures towards consuming more animal-based foods and increasing physical activity, and the weight loss will ensue. Stress is another significant factor. Elevated stress levels can influence blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity. Think about adopting stress-alleviating activities such as yoga, mindfulness, or simply setting aside a few minutes every day to relax, decompress. Lastly, never underestimate the importance of a restful night's sleep. Lack of sleep can disrupt your body's insulin regulation. Make it a goal to get seven to nine hours of quality sleep night. Foster a sleep-conducive environment, maintain a consistent sleep schedule, and steer clear of caffeine and electronic devices near bedtime. Remember, minor modifications can have a major impact. Don't hesitate to consult a healthcare professional if you suspect you're at risk. All about adopting sustainable lifestyle modifications that can help augment your insulin sensitivity and overall well-being. Insulin resistance is a significant health issue, but understanding it is the first step to managing it. We've journeyed through the process of how insulin functions like a key, unlocking our cells to allow glucose entry for energy. We've also seen how, in insulin resistance, the locks become rusty, leading to an overproduction of insulin and potentially type 2 diabetes. We've underlined vital risk factors such as obesity, inactive lifestyle, poor diet, genetics, age, and certain health conditions. Taking note of these can help you gauge your risk level. Importantly, we've highlighted how lifestyle changes such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, weight loss, stress management, and adequate sleep can significantly improve insulin sensitivity. Remember, small, sustainable lifestyle adjustments can make a huge difference in your health. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for more health topics in our next video. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay informed.